Dr. Subini. Working at Kwasan Hospital, Shanghai. He's doing mainly bypass surgery, but also another surgery, and he has also endovascular specialty, so he is very widely widely trained. He has very effective team to do bypass surgery. So for example, last week, not this week, but last week, I was told he was doing 30 bypasses and in one day, 13 bypasses. So it means, of course, traveling in different rooms, but extremely effective team and his personal experience in bypasses is more than 7,000. So this is one figure no one else in the world can achieve. And uh, uh, he has very special, special techniques developed uh, when he was working in hand surgery. So has developed extreme skills, both in organizing the uh, bypass operations, but also in the, in the doing the real bypasses or anastomosis bypasses. So I think if this is enough, he's the world champion in bypasses and it is very difficult really to beat his experience and his young man. So he will achieve a lot in future. Thank you. Should be Thank you, Professor Johan. So uh, today my topic is uh, the basics of bypass surgery, part one. Uh, I will, uh, I will introduce the end-to-end -end anastomosis. So end-to-end uh, -end anastomosis uh, normally use uh, uh, in the MCA anastomosis, like this case. Uh, this is a, a, a partial thrombosed uh, long segment MCA aneurysm. So I resect the uh, a, a MCA aneurysm, but we still got enough lens of the vessel to do the direct uh, anastomosis. So I just uh, cut the uh, aneurysm and uh, made the end-to-end -end anastomosis. So this is the final result. You can see uh, the vessel was uh, uh, patent and the uh, stoma was uh, quite good. Uh, but um, uh, more frequently, the end-to-end -end, uh, anastomosis was used in STA uh, because when we do the uh, cryotomy, sometimes uh, unexperienced, uh, unexperienced uh, assistant may cut off uh, the STA uh, accidentally. Sometimes if you use a monopolar or bipolar, you uh, may accidentally coagulate uh, the STA, so the vessel was not patent anymore. Uh, sometimes when uh, we use uh, 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 clipping technique, but sometimes if the uh, vessel, uh, if the aneurysm was uh, ruptured at the uh, neck of the aneurysm, sometimes we have to sacrifice uh, some uh, blood flow for the parent artery. So may we may need some flow replacement uh, in the operation. So this time uh, we, we, we may need the STA. So we have to uh, harvest the uh, branch from the distal part and then do the end-to-end -end anastomosis to make the uh, direct bypass. So this is the technique notes. Uh, no, uh, at first we, we will cut off the coagulated segment uh, make sure we, we uh, anastomose the patent uh, once. Then trim the uh, tonical adventure of the vessel. Uh, normally I will uh, cut uh, up a big one uh, to uh, make the circumference uh, more, uh, more longer. So then made the intima to intima uh, evolution suture. So the needle spacing is uh, 1.5 to 2 times of the vessel walls thickness because this is uh, uh, the same vessel. So the, thic uh, the thickness of the 
uh, vessel wall was the same. Uh, normally, I use uh, ten zero uh, suture. So this is a, a sample uh, video. Uh, this segment you can see it it was uh, already calculated, so it's not patent anymore. So I cut off the segment at this segment. Then expose the uh, uh, vessel cavity. Now it's uh, the vessel cap cavity is uh, here thick, and uh, then cut off the the trim the adventitia, and then left uh, enough space for an esmos. So then making the stoma, I cut it in a oblique way. It's not a fish mouth. I cut, cut out the triangle. It's very sleepy of the vessel wall. So don't touch the intima of the in the uh, vessel cavity. Methylon brown. This is the heparin saline. Now trim the distal part of the stoma. Cut up the adventitia. So uh, the distal part is uh, already uh, formed the oblique one. So uh, when I cut the first uh, cutting, it's already in an oblique way. So now the vessel cavity was uh, all patent. Now makes uh, an estimosis. So one side here to another side tall. So in the oblique way, uh, it makes a uh, uh, stenosis rate uh, much lower than in a uh, plain way. Then, because the distal part is free, so then you can turn it out over and then make another here to toe stitching.
So we already made the uh, stitches at the 12 and the 6 o'clock, then the third o'clock. Still use uh, interrupted uh, suturing. And the square knot. It's an intima to intima. All but an estimus. in one, one o'clock. And the two o'clock point. Uh, this is uh, extra, uh, extra cranial. Yeah, Ben, we can we cannot hear. Are we supposed to hear? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Okay. So I'm worried about the fire size is too large, you know. So it happened the second time that uh, when I played the video, uh, yeah. it sp stopped. <laughs> okay. So now it's done. You can see now it's uh, the anastomos is uh, finished. So thank you. Thank you. Anyway, so maybe I I will update my uh, internet connection. Maybe the Zoom is not. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. No big problem. Enough for for my video file. Well, no problem. This is a learning experience in all areas, <laughs> not only neurosurgery, yeah. but yeah. technology. Okay, okay. Let's move on to now. The we'll stop the sharing. Yeah.